Welcome to this brief video, which is going to describe how to use Microsoft Project with Triscoll. The first thing we'll be doing is giving you a brief introduction to Triscoll, followed by a demonstration of using Project with the system, and then I'll also demonstrate a few other Triscoll functions. So what is Triscoll? It is a cloud-based enterprise governance platform that links portfolios, projects, projects and products to strategic business goals and objectives. Some of the functions that Triscoll addresses, strategic planning and execution, project portfolio management, financial management, hybrid meaning waterfall and agile based detail planning, scaled agile and resource management. So what makes Triscoll unique? First of all, it has a database specifically designed for enterprise governance. It offers true multi-portfolio support so that one part of the organization can have a portfolio of items or strategies and another part of the organization such as IT could have its own portfolio and the two can be related. Trisco includes a comprehensive set of features and functions, roadmaps, master plans, time phase financial management, Kanban, advanced scoring, lifecycle capability, and those capabilities, those functions can then be applied to portfolios, strategic goals and objectives, projects and tasks, and risk issues and backlogs. And how Microsoft Project is used with Triscoll is quite simple. Triscoll is both a top-down strategic execution management system and a bottoms-up portfolio management system. Triscoll has its own uh, Gantt Scrum capability for detail planning, but we also can use Excel uh, if you have very simple project plans uh, stored in Excel and we can directly support Microsoft Project. So how is Triscoll integrated with Project? Well, first of all, the versions that are supported, both the standard version and professional version from 2013 of Microsoft Project and beyond. And that's true whether you're using it in both a, stand, a desktop or using it with Project Server. Once you're using project for detail planning of certain projects, all of the Triscoll functions, such as roadmap, master plan, cost and financial management, resource planning, dashboard scenarios, they're all available to you, just as if you had used the Triscoll functions themselves. There's two methods for integrating with project. One is you can directly load an MPP file to the Triscoll database, okay? And it is then stored in the database and available for all of the Triscoll functions. You can also use the Microsoft Project add-in that we supply, and that provides a live connection to the data while you're using Microsoft Project. And now we'll go into the demonstration. So let's just briefly show you two ways that you can use Microsoft Project. The first is just simply to load the data from a Microsoft Project MPP file. What I'll do is I'll just double click. Here's the Triscoll Gantt chart. Notice that there are no tasks. Okay, so I'm going to load the tasks from an MPP file. I'm going to pick uh, this simple project plan and I'm going to say load. Now the tasks are, are there. I'll return to the upper menu and then any, any user who has access to this project by double clicking they're going to see the task and be able to scroll through etc and, and view that. I'll return to the main project grid now we're going to highlight this second project. Uh, this is a project which is using a Microsoft Project template, and it was previously loaded into Triscoll. But let's just open it up so you can actually see what's there. So here's the project. OK. Uh, what I'm, what I'm going to concentrate on right here is this task, Secure Project Sponsorship. Notice that its duration is five days. 
So what we're going to do, this project hasn't started yet, we're going to uh, basically say there's been a delay okay, in that, in that plan. And we're going to change the duration. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Project, okay, and go to the Triscoll add-in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out and I'm going to select this project, the Microsoft Project add-in project from the Triscoll list. Click OK. And there's my project. OK. And I'm going to take that sample project that is five days long, and I'm going to change it. I'm just going to say it's 10 days long. Now, at this point, I could save this data locally, if I wish, to an MPP file. But what I really want to do here is I want to save it directly to the Triscoll database, just to show you that the changes that I've made, and I'm going to select. Notice that this list appears again, because you could save to another, uh, a different version, for example, of a Microsoft of the project in Triscoll. And I'm simply going to click on OK. OK. And now that's completed. OK. What I'll do is I will go back. And I'm actually going to uh, go back up to basically enter this project again and refresh it. There you go. Notice that the duration for that project has been changed to 10 days. Okay. Now, notice the little symbols here. This is telling me, oh, this has been done, but uh, as the project manager, I actually want to save that result in the database. The system is showing you what's what the changes, the effect would be. And now the project is changed and everything is now the way you want it. That's how easy it is to use Microsoft Project with Triscoll. And again, I want to emphasize this doesn't require the professional version of Project. Um, that can be used, but if you have Microsoft Project Standard, then you can use that. So the final thing we're going to do is demonstrate just a few of the capabilities of Triscoll overall. I'm going to switch back to the default view for projects. And I'm also going to expand the left-hand navigation menu. Notice here that I've got a list of all the projects. There are many, many attributes that can be assigned to a project. And also, I'm looking at them in here in just a, um, a grid format. I can double-click a project. go to its details, go to an overview, go to scoring, go to finance, cost management. OK, OK, uh, I'll go back up now. Show you some of the dashboard capabilities. I'll click on the charts. And here you see project by status initiation, what workflow stage they're in, by type, admin, business improvements. Down at the bottom here, we have some financial information and engagement information. Okay. I can also go and look at the products, which are the outcome of projects. And here, notice that I'm looking at the products with a Kanban chart, and I can move the items around. I can also look and see various features, OK, and what version the features uh, are in. So here's the backlog. There are seven features in backlog, OK, and they can be moved, as you can see here. And then the final thing I'm going to show is this is available for an administrator to uh, impersonate another user. And here I'm going to pick uh, Ella Flores, who is a, has capability to 
uh, do strategic planning, which has nothing to do with the projects. It's related to the projects, but these are not projects. Okay, these are actually strategic plans. I'm going to pick the strategic plan for 2017 to 20. Double click on it. Okay, notice that it then breaks down and has various strategic objectives, such as reduce operation cost. Okay. And then the, each of these objectives, basically one is to reduce non-labor costs by a certain amount, uh, reduce labor costs, okay? And uh, this just gives you some idea of the capabilities uh, of how the system can be configured to do strategic planning and execution, financial management, etc. One other thing I should mention in closing is notice that when Ella signed in, what's available to her what data is available to her and what functions are available to her is personal uh, to her and is configured by her role. Okay, uh, and that concludes the um, the demonstration. Thank you for watching. So we're going to wrap up this video with just one uh, additional slide. I want to point out that many enterprises have multiple detailed planning tools in place. Our position is that you should use the detail planning tool that makes sense for you. That could be Excel, Jira, Microsoft Project, or the Triscoll, Gantt, Kanban, and Scrum capabilities. If you have questions or want more information, simply complete the contact form on this page, and we'll be happy to get you additional information.